Good win. Uh, solid win. I, I like the way our kids started. We talked from the minute we got done playing South Dakota that the emphasis was going to be on starting fast, detailing our work through the bye week into this week. I thought our kids did a really good job of buying into that message. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased. I mean, you, you look at the stats. Um, we hold them to seven points. 24 points below their average, about 150, 160 yards below their average. Uh, probably, as, you know, I, I know there was a couple games this year. They had over 100 snaps. We kept them in the 50s. All the things that we wanted to do, complimentary football, was on display today. 40 minutes time of possession, roughly. That's big time. That's big time. You talk about Coach Braun and the defensive staff having ample time, one, to keep our kids fresh, but to make the necessary adjustments that we needed to. Uh, I thought our kids played hard. I thought I thought our kids played smart, and I think you see that, you know, with only having two penalties in a physical, you know, up tempo game where we were trying to get after people. Uh, I'll open. Guys, ask ask away, guys and gals. Coach, you guys had, as you mentioned, almost twice as much uh, possession as the yep. Smokies. How much of that was going in uh, with the game plan this week? Well, it, we always I mean, we're, we're a line of scrimmage football team. And we want to run the football, and if we can keep on running it, we're going to do it. Uh, you know, I can't, you know, real quickly, I'm not that good at math, but, you know, 62 carries for almost 400 yards, uh, that's over five a snap. You know, that, that's pretty good. I don't know why you would get away from it. Uh, it's consistent. We're moving the chains. We're, we're putting us in short yardage situations, 9 of 13 on third down. Another great job by our offensive staff of taking what they gave us, and, 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 and our kids made plays. Kobe. Kobe Johnson, I thought, ran as good today as he had all year, getting downhill and attacking the line of scrimmage. That third and nine that he pounced, bounced to the outside, big time run. Tamaric Williams set the, set the day, first run of the day. Big physical cat, all right, takes a lot of people to tackle him. And then, you know, Jalen Bussey comes in and changes the tempo on you. And you, you better bring your lunch when you want to tackle him as well. Offensive line the last three games, is there anything you can point to to say why it's been the way it's been, how good it's been? I don't think there's one thing. Uh, I think it's partly just some playing together. Uh, I think you saw coming into the year, had some moving parts. Uh, Jake Kubis was kind of a new starter, had surgery, uh, had some people left tackle to right tackle, vice versa, and believing in one another. Um, you know, I think those kids are having a good time. Uh, I think if you look at what we're doing schematically, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just doing what we do, and we try to do it better than our opponent. If you were game planning against Tamara, how would you tackle him? I don't, I'm, I, I don't have to, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it right now. But we better get more than one to the party. That 62 carries for almost 400 yards, is that like as close to a, a perfect execution of your guys' game plan? Well, it, it's what we want. We always talk about you know the, the number 50 is, is, is critical for our program offensively. If we can have 50... Running attempts plus completions, we feel like we're going to win and win the time of possession. Today we had 71. And so uh, that, that's, a, that's a very positive day. And I'll tell you what, guys, you can ask my wife, and she rolls her eyes at me numerous times during the day. But I was as nervous as I'll get out for this one. Just because we played really well for a couple weeks and then you take a break, I get really nervous about getting out of our, our routine. And we try to keep it the same as we can, but it's not uh, with the holidays tucked in there. Game plan change with Christian out, or is this what you're going to do? Oh, I, I think probably some, there are some adjustments to the game plan. Uh, you know, but our, our young receivers are, are, are talented. Uh, but again, at the same time, Mike, when we're, when we're running it for five, six yards a clip, you know, I, I get it. It's, it, it's not for that, the, the fan that loves to see big plays and explosive plays. It's not very exciting. You know, for the people that truly appreciate football, it's a pretty good game. Hamstring? Hamstring, yep. Do you expect him back in the playoffs? Hope so. Yeah, I hope so. We're going to let the medical personnel take care of that the best they can. Uh, lo lower leg injury right now, still waiting on some feedback. Um, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Without Will, we'll start at Jasir Cox. Can yeah, un on that? unfortunately, yeah. Uh, non COVID sickness so it is that time of year and we got to continue to be smart and be diligent in how we go about our business and uh, I probably sounded like everyone's mom at the end make sure that we get plenty of sleep eat right make sure we're not going outside with wet hair all those things that I remember my mom telling me how dangerous is it to add, add Quincy into, into the running game what you know here's 
my experience, and, and for what it, take it for what it's worth, when you have to game plan for two quarterbacks, that is extremely difficult as a coordinator. When they both can throw it, they both can run it, they both can operate the offense. And I think our offensive staff is doing a great job of finding those moments to get him in there. And you see, he brings a spark. He's big, physical kid that can still sit back there and throw it. And, you know, it, it's something else people got to defend. Uh, it's, you know, we, we're, we're fortunate to have a lot of different tools on offense, and, and he's one of them. The offense, the first couple drives was pretty diverse. You're throwing some stuff out there I haven't seen all year. Yep. Yeah. And those are our starters. You know, our, you know play, our openers, the, the plays that we want to have out there. Um, and then I think we kind of get into a little bit of, hey, they're struggling to defend this. You know, what I loved is I saw the same play three, four times today. And sometimes that isn't always the case. But uh, we got into that uh, single width. Um, I call it slot three. We ran counter back to the field. And it, it, was, it was a great play for us today. Well executed, great energy, guys getting off the football, picking it up. They even were trying to throw some, you know, weak fire, weak spear at it, and our kids did a great job. When did you stop being nervous? Probably the start of the fourth quarter, maybe. Minute my minute the fours go down. I st- Does it help you when the, your team was physically handling the game, especially with the offensive line as a head coach? Was that? Oh, sure. You see that? that. Yeah. It, it makes you feel good about the moment, but again, I. Here's the thing that I, I talked to our team at, at halftime. You go back four or five weeks, they were getting beat 28 to 10, I believe, at South Dakota State and ended up winning in overtime. We weren't going to let that happen. We had to finish. And you know, so I, I made point of it at halftime. This is what they've done in the past. So we can sit around and, and mull around and, and kind of be average, you know, which is extremely overrated. We can hope we finish, which is a poor strategy. Or we can go out there and take care of business. Well, 13 minutes of the second quarter, which is remarkable. 15, at 15-play drive, I mean, yeah. What, what I find even, it's not the 15 plays, it's that we never got in our own way. There was never a penalty that got us into first and 15, never a penalty that took off a first down. Our kids just executed. Matt, do you have a sense for the players? They were motivated from how this game went against SIU in February? Yo, know, Dom, I never talked about it. I, I never brought it up. Once, the only time I've ever talked about it was in the locker room afterwards. You know, because there was some chirping on the field and guys wanting to remind us that they, they beat us in the spring. And I reminded our football team that right now means everything. What happened then happened. You know, those moments allowed us to grow. We're, we're better because of it. So, you know, but today was what, what was important to us. We're, this is a process-oriented team, not a result-oriented. All right, thanks, guys. Michael, I know you took the game at SIU pretty personally. How gratifying was today to have the performance you guys had on defense? Man, extremely gratifying uh, to get that monkey off our back. Honestly, it's been a sick feeling in my stomach ever since that happened. Just the way it happened and to end our streak and, you know, the way it all uh, went down and to get them to play them in the playoffs, first round of playoffs, um, and the way we did it in here feels awesome. Extremely uh, gratifying, and, and it was great to see the defense go like that. Mike, how would you tackle Tamarin? That's a good question. Hey, I mean, he's a clearly you see you see how he he toasts that thing. So um, you know I uh, you know I'll probably hit him low as I as I do think that's my strength. But you know he that might not always work. He's a great back, a big body, always running his feet, running hard, and so I'm just glad he's on my team. <laughs> Tamara, talk about the job the offensive line did for you today. That, uh, you had some room to run. Oh yeah, the the offensive line, man. Those five guys up front did. Did a great job just opening up some holes. They honestly make my job easier. Um, I mean, I just every every week, man. They they bring the same energy, and I feel like the offense moves as the O line moves. So that's that's always good. I feel like the last three games have been your, your offense is in a rhythm now. You're physically punishing other teams and running the ball. It's, it's like NDSU football. Yes, sir, for sure, man. The 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 offense. We always talk about just trying to start fast every week, man. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like in the playoffs, man, this is this is where you want. You want to start the peak. You want to start to get in the rhythm. Uh, I feel like that's big time for us, man. And it's only going. I mean, the train's already rolling. It's only going to get better from here. Michael, offense on the ball, 13 minutes of the second quarter. Do you have to like warm up again? I mean, early on. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. I mean, you got to stay warm. Uh, I mean, they went down 
it was such a long drive and coming out of the second half. But yeah, we did. We did. You got to stay warm. Be prepared for situations like that. But I mean, I'll take that any time if, if I just got to warm up a little bit extra. If the offense is staying on the field, I'll take it any day. Cam, you guys had 76 plays on offense. You only had to throw the ball 14 times. How much easier does your job get when the running game's going the way it did today? You know, I thought our guys up front did a great job. And, you know, I don't care if we don't throw a pass in the entire game as long as we win the game. And, I mean, it's just, for, for me, it's really fun to watch our, our backs, you know, get 10, 15 yards per carry. I mean, it, it was awesome to see. Yeah, how did this one feel compared to last April for your first start in the playoffs? Does this feel a little different today? Yeah, you know, like I've said, I just felt more confident going into the game. You know, I think having an extra week to prepare for this team really helped. Um, and I feel like having four or five starts under my belt has really helped as well. You've seen the offensive lines that you got in for the Indiana State game. What has changed, if anything, for what you've seen from Indiana State to what we saw today? Um, you know, I feel like we're just playing more as a unit. I feel like... The five guys up front have better chemistry. We're kind of making the playbook a little bit more simplified um, since the start of the year, and I think our guys are just going out and playing fast. You didn't miss uh, Christian today, Cam, but uh, you know, what does he mean to the offense going forward if he can come back? Everyone's status is the status good. Yeah, you know, I feel like everybody knows Christian's probably the best player in FCS, and not having him is, you know, it's just we got to have a next man up mentality. And we have such a deep wide receiver room that obviously having him out really hurts, but we got guys that can make plays too. Is your game plan different today once you learn that he's going to be out? No, we didn't change it at all. Nope. Michael, what did you do in the second quarter? I mean, just pull up a chair and watch, or what, what did you do? Uh, no, I mean, uh, shoot, just. When, when we had to go out there, we go, go out and execute. We get them off the field, do our job. Um, but yeah, just man, it, it was awesome to see the offense go like that, man. I mean, was it 40, 40 minutes of time possession total? I mean, that's hard to complain as a defense, and it's hard to lose games when you do that. So credit to the offense, and I'll take that any day. Like I said earlier. What was the difference for you guys this time around defensively though against Southern Illinois? Um, that's a good question. I think that, I mean, I said it after the loss last year. We kind of just expected we rolled the helmets out, right? I said that. Um, I think that, you know, we, we took it a lot more serious. Uh, we tackled a lot better. We were great with our pre-snap looks. Uh, we did some different things to affect um, the, their quarterback, who, who's a, who does a great job of reading and processing things pre-snap. Um, and, and just we played a lot harder, man. We just we played a lot harder. We had a lot more pride. And it, it looked like Bison, Bison defense, Bison football. Tamara, first experience in the playoffs. What was this like for you to see what – FCS playoffs are like, man. I, 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 I mean, honestly, I've enjoyed like just being here, man. The playoff atmosphere with the with the fans, man. It's just like you feed off that energy, and and for me, man, it's it's just been a blessing being able to, to come here and to just be a part of something special. We talked to you a couple weeks ago when you had that big game with Youngstown. Is that honestly when did things feel like? All right, I'm here. I'm ready to give me the ball 20 times a game, and I can do it. I mean, honestly, when I come into the game, I just try to focus on taking it one play at a time, and then. Everything. If I get the ball 20 times or 17 times, I just take it one play at a time and then execute that, execute that play, and then I worry about the next one. Do you feel fresh? Because you didn't, early in the year, you didn't play all that much, frankly, and now it's the, what, the 12th game of the season here. You're running guys over. Are you feeling fresh even though it's late in the season? Uh, yeah, I say, yeah, I say I'm feeling fresh, man. I'm just, I've done a, a, a great job of just trying to take care of my body. I mean, even when I wasn't playing as much, I mean, I, it just always felt like I was always doing something. And I, I just like I told the, uh, just like I told, and it was an other interview earlier. I told them, I said I try to do a good job of just preparing myself as if, as if I'm the starter, even though I may not be the starter. So. Do you enjoy running guys over? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do enjoy contact, man. But I mean, I, I can tell like after, after maybe after the first play, I can just tell like when, when I'm, when I'm coming through the hole and I see a defender, their eyes get real big. So I know, like, I know, I said, okay, he doesn't want to tackle me. So I just, you know, I just give him the business and go about it, get a ball to ref and line up and do it again. Yeah, have you guys played your best game yet? Have you seen it? No. No, I think we've, we've, we've shown glimpses of it, but I don't think we've put together four full, full quarters. So. When you look at the line of scrimmage, when did you sense they were tired? You know, when you look at them, hands on hips, you know, when you brought up the line of scrimmage, when did you sense that Southern Illinois – 
I think after our second or third drive, I could just tell. And then especially the first drive in the second half, I mean, we, I, I think it was a nine minute drive and it, it just took everything out of them, you know, kind of like what you said there. They had their hands on their hips and just, yeah. To have a drive like that, where you're grinding on him, or to hit Christian on a 75-yard touchdown pass? I don't know. I like both <laughs> a lot. I like both a lot. It's a tough question. Cam, what does it add to have both you and Quincy be able to go back there and, and run the ball? You know, I'm just so happy for him. I think you guys know him and I are pretty tight. And just to see him do that, just, I don't know, kind of brought a tear to my eye, honestly, because, you know, I was in that situation before, too, where I wasn't playing a lot. And for him to get some reps today was just great to see. He was also a valuable weapon. Though. Oh, yeah. He ripped off a 25-yard runner. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, that was, that was awesome to see. What do you think about lining up wide as a wide yeah. which you I don't know. Time. I think I'm kind of a weapon out there. I think we could use it, you know. Maybe. Yeah, I was. You ran in. You were wide open. Yeah, yeah they brought a corner blitz, and I was hoping he'd throw it, but he didn't see me. But it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I was like screaming at him, especially when they were bringing Cat. I'm like, Q, Q. But it's all right. Maybe next time. When was the last time you caught a pass? Uh, it was in the semifinal game my uh, senior year of high school. Call throwback pass. Michael, they were, I think they were like 2 of 13 or 2 of 14 on third downs. Was that a. It's always a key to get off the field, but I mean that's a that's a huge stat. Yeah, I go back to the question uh, before, like what was different? I mean that, that that right there, what you just said. I mean, I think they were 11 for 15 on us in the spring, so two for 13. I mean, that's the tail of the tape right there. We we, we made it uh, a vital thing that we were going to get off the field on third down and, and and get the ball back to these guys and let them roll.